What? How, how not old as old as you I are. know, you're not that far behind, are you? Uh, I'm 40. Okay, you're quite a ways behind. <laughs> so, Did you watch The Love Boat, Ali? The what? The Love Boat? No, he's Love Italian. Boat. Yeah, back in the day. It's a show. Kids. Yeah. yeah. Well, what was the it? Barco de Amor. <laughs> I'll just say I'm Richie Schley, and this is your host, Tattoo. <laughs> yeah, do it. Ready? Yeah. Welcome to Sea Otter. I'm Richie Schley, and this is your host, Tattoo. Welcome to day three, where we do sea otter by the minute. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Nice to see you. What's up, guys? I'm Ronnie Dillon from DVO Suspension, and we have the Onyx D138. So new, new this year is, uh, well, there's a bunch of different new things. This is actually an SL version of the Onyx, not the OTT version that everybody is familiar of or familiar with. So keep your eyes open for that one. Uh, we have a completely new damper and rebound circuit inside of this. So compression and rebound, two new circuits, a little more for you guys to play with. There's a lot of good stuff inside of that fork that we've worked on for a couple of years now. So hope you guys are stoked. Awesome, man. Look forward to checking it out. Yeah, Thank man. You. Thank you. Hi, my name is Lauren and I'm with Liat and this here is our limited edition release of our Woody collection and we've got the Gravity 2.0 helmet right here. It's got our logo there with the matching goggles and gloves and the Gravity jersey as well to get you all kitted up for bike park season. Awesome. And what about the shoes? These are the Thomas Lemoyne shoes. They are not a part of the Woody collection but they match perfect. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Thank yeah. You very much. yeah, of course. My name is Tyler Cloward. I'm here at Fazari Bicycles uh, at Sea Otter. We've got a couple new things for you. We've got our uh, LaSalle Peak, which is our all, it's our enduro all mountain, just absolute smash bike. Uh, 170, 170. Well, we got some updates to that with some new builds. We now have Shimano XT uh, at the elite level, SLX at the comp level. A couple of new colors, the ochre yellow, uh, and then we've got uh, custom paint. Options may be coming. This is a custom painted one that we uh, that has been done. Uh, custom paint shop in uh, San Diego area. But we've also got the new two-tone uh, uh, bone white and uh, charcoal. Uh, again, we've got transmission top to bottom on pretty much everything on that. We're also showing here our new Tint Peak that you might have seen some of the uh, release on, the dissected video. Make sure you check that one out. Uh, this is ranging, it's 170, 170 travel. Uh, 635 watt hour battery that we're getting, you know, I'm big heavy guy, 280 pounds, getting 5,000 feet on it. Um, make sure you check that out. You can see more of the Fazari information at Fazari.com. Thank you, man. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Hey, I'm Darren with SR Sun Tour, and we're going to take a look at some of the new stuff that's coming out in the near future. So this is the Radon 34. So we, all of our kids' forks in the past have been decidedly cross-country oriented. Now we're going into the trail section. So 34 mil aluminum stanchion, our EQ air spring. It's boost spacing, so it'll fit up to a 2.6, even with the mini fender. The 20 inch goes up to 100 millimeter, and the 24 goes up to 120 millimeter. Uh, has an open setting, or firm, or you might call it trail and pump track. We have an update on to our Oron 36, Duralux 38, and the Rux 38 with a new damper called the RC Plus. So it, basically this has been in development with our World Cup circuit for the past three years and we're gonna start bringing it to market for everybody else. Hey guys, I'm Adam from Stan's No Tubes and today I'm gonna to show you our new Impulse Hub and our Dart. I think I'll start with the uh, Impulse Hub here. We got some cool features about this. It's a little different from your standard hub. A lot of the hubs, the uh, poles are pushed up by springs. These guys are pushed up by little magnets that are putting the poles there. And then the uh, ratchet ring, driver ring, actually has pole, uh, magnets in it also. So they're always pulling the poles up. So that allows for less drag and still getting all those 216 points of engagement. So that's pretty sweet. Um, and then moving on to the old dart there. Uh, this little bad boy, dual sided. It's our plug system, screws right off. Anytime you have a flat puncture tear on the trail, just insert this right into the uh, tear hole. It actually has a uh, chemical on the fabric that reacts to liquid latex. So any sealant that has liquid latex, much like ours, will bond to it and create a uh, tight seal. 
and uh, yeah, you're good to go. CO2 up and you're good to go on the trail. We changed the bonding process on there. We had a little problem where the uh, feathers would separate from the tip. Now we have the bonding process all fixed and we're back to good, uh, good as new pretty much. Those uh, impulse hubs all are on our MK4 line and CB7 carbon wheels. Fantastic, thank yeah. you very much. Yeah, thanks man. Okay, so I'm Ben Irwin, I'm the Vetus MDB product manager, and we have here our Emethic LT prototype. So this is one of the test bikes that we've built up uh, and been riding back in Ireland. So it's from the R&D team, so the guys Chris and Dale have been giving this bike a bit of a hammering. So this bike is going to be one of our new bikes in the range, it's going to come out in July time this year, and basically it's an enduro style e-bike. So it's got a big uh, motor, so it's got the Bafang M510 motor, 95 Nm of torque, got a big battery, 630 watt hours. You're getting things like a 170 mm fork, 160 mm rear travel, some of the headline geometry, 64 degree head tube angle, 78 degree effective seat tube angle. Basically kind of the package that you're looking in a modern enduro e-bike. You're running on mixed wheels as well, 29 front, 27 and a half inch rear. And we've just tried to create a really capable and yeah, confidence inspiring package that then works really well in our e mountain bike range, trying to offer more options to the e-summit, which we currently have, and just to give customers, yeah, something different to try out. We've been working really hard behind the scenes to help develop the Bafang system, and we've got it into a place where we're now really, really impressed with the performance. Uh, my name is Tyler Henderson, I'm the marketing manager at Feedback Sports, and this is the Pro Mechanic HD, or Heavy Duty. So the Pro Mechanic HD is our sort of like new flagship stand. Um, it's more robust in sort of every way from previous feedback stands from the head to the telescoping tubes, the clamps, and the legs. It's designed for heavier bikes like downhill bikes, e-bikes, bigger enduro bikes. Um, its clutch is a lot stronger, the bushings are heavier duty, and its clamping mechanism is more Ratcheting has finer indexes. We also have the new knob and the new spinner knob as well on the back. Hey everybody, I'm Chris Curry from Ministry Cycles. I'm CNC machining these frames out of 7075 aluminum, bonding them together with aerospace adhesive, similar to what some other people are doing. This is my patented 3VO suspension system. Uh, the Psalm 150 here is a 150 millimeter travel rear frame with a, I got it running a 170 fork up front right now and uh, trying to get these things into production, doing the best we can, a little bit at a time. This is still prototype, but looking to get these on the market. Well, 3VO, the first generation is on the Jameis bikes right now, and then this is a little simpler, newer version of it. We're running 29% progression, and all the numbers are looking really good. Very happy where we are with the suspension. Fantastic, thank you so much. All right, thank you. Yeah, I'm Colin over here at Camelback, and uh, today we have a, our new Mule waste pack. So it's uh, our biggest waste pack in the line. Comes with a 1.5 liter reservoir, but you can also fit a couple bottles if you prefer to run bottles instead of a reservoir. Um, you know, it's got enough capacity to fit in a, a medium layer, your tools, tube, all that stuff. Um, and then kind of sits in our, the highest volume of our waste pack lineup. What is your name and what are we looking at? Hi everybody, my name is Lisa Crampton and I'm here with Pivot Cycles and our world champion Hayden Pivot Phoenix for Jenna Hastings. And then I'm just having on the Pivot Firebird, which was the Mike of Choice for our world champion EWS team. The Phoenix, as you can see, is beautifully painted. Uh, it is representing Lightning McQueen, which at the beginning of the World Cup season, Jenna said, if I get to go to World Championships, I want my bike painted like Lightning McQueen. And it's beautiful. She, this was a medical bike that she gifted to Chris Kropalis, the owner of the Cycles. And it's got a little trivia involved in it, but it's super beautiful. Everybody's coming in to look at it. It's kind of the pinnacle of our boots. Right on. Thank you very much. Right on. Hey, I'm Jacob here with KTM for uh, Saturday, day three at Sea Otter. Really stoked. We got K uh, KTM bringing them back into the U.S. market. We're going to fill up that bike space. We've got uh, bio bikes, e bikes. Uh, we got cross country racers down here, gravel, road, uh, commuters. We got a cargo bike in the lineup. A couple models we're really excited about are our Prowler. This is the uh, bio bike, pedal only. Uh, carbon frame, carbon wheels, super excited about this thing, 150 travel, the rear 160 up front, 
Uh, this is going to come in running about 12 grand. Uh, we've got models starting off 3,000 all the way up to the flagship here, and then we have the e-bike version in the back. This is the Makina Prowler. This has got 170, 180 travel, carbon mainframe, aluminum rear triangle, Bosch motors throughout the whole lineup. This is going to have the new limited edition CX race motor. Super excited about it. Uh, this is topping out at uh, 1350, and we got entry level uh, mountain bikes, e bikes coming in about eight thousand, five to eight thousand dollars. I'm Sebastian with Craig Brothers Sea Otter 2023. Here to show off our new camo collection, our new project, what we got going. Uh, we have our common saw tempo that we did a custom trail build with, uh, with all our partners to help support the local trails in California. Um, going with our camo team, which we are launching for 2023, and most of our shoes, all of our shoes, and, and our uh, signature pedals, uh, Stamp 7s, uh, Mallet E's, and Mallet DH. All the money's going back to the trails. We've had unprecedented rain in California, and the trails need work, so it's about giving back and giving trail awareness and bringing people to their local trail system to contribute and, uh, and give back. Okay, everybody, we are here with my good friend Tomo. He has flown over with some very cool bits. Clever Standard is his latest project. He has been, for years, we've been running into each other and he always has some awesome little stuff he's working on. Today we're going to show you a couple of really cool bits, right Tomo? Exciting. So, this is uh, obviously your valve core cover, matching, decorate your bike in a number of colors. However, it's also a valve core remover tool. If you flip it over on the other side, use that to undo your valve core. Uh, it is also a Preston to Schrader adapter, or you can thread that back on if you've got an air compressor, gas station, whatever, and you can just use that to get that massive inflation to set the beat on your tire. So if you count, that's three useful functions and one decorative function. So really you're getting four in one with these things, really cool. Next up is his Captain Hook valve stem multi-tool. You've got a valve stem here. You've also got a valve core remover tool like this. Uh, also, if you have two, which you would, you can use one if you've got a really sticky Presta valve. Uh, and then if you flip it over, you have a two nipple wrench on the bottom here, as well as another, what size? Zero and one. Zero and one nipple wrenches, so pretty common and popular sizes. Everybody's, most everybody's carrying CO2 these days, so reusing tools. Tomo is very much concerned with minimizing space, keeping your load light, and minimizing the impact of materials needed to build tools, right? Most people are carrying this, so there's no need to make tools that have extra material. So use that CO2 handle. You've got a ratchet with three positions, really nice engagement. Um, from there, you can also use this tool on the three millimeter bit, which is magnetically attached. You'll have obviously a full assortment of tools. You use that three mil and you've got this bacon bullet, the bacon bullet, which will drive a bacon strip into the tire. This anchor remains inside the tire so that it can fill large holes a couple of them will come in a set, so once you change that tire, you pull the bacon strip out and you reuse the bullet in your next bacon bit. Thank you, sir. What a great model. Next up, what do you call this one? CO2. Okay. So this here, disc rotor truing tool, and you've also got uh, nipple wrenches on the sides there. Also very cool. From there, you can also thread in another bacon strip plugger this is an over penetration guard so you don't stick it through and puncture your uh, rim tape or do any damage options are for storage a little neoprene pouch or it will go inside these tire levers and then in, encapsulate the whole system just like that got another handle if you've got a Kevlar beaded tire or something. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so currently I guess E13 is specking and using these. Um, outside of that, you can go to Clever Standards website, check it out. Um, and if you're a bike shop, bike club, industry people, 
He can make these customized, get your own logo etched in there, pretty reasonable pricing, awesome stuff. Cleverstandard.com. Tomo. Thank you. Good to see you, man. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming along, everybody, for day three at the Sea Otter Classic. We're going to head on up there and watch some slalom racing. Stay tuned for day four. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.